In the midst of a scorching heat wave that swept through the Bay Area in June, residents scrambled to find ways to beat the heat. Whether it was seeking refuge in air-conditioned spaces or enjoying a refreshing splash of water. For Jordan, the simplest and most affordable solution was a sip of cold water, offering instant relief. It was amidst this sweltering heat that she conceived her brightest idea yet. Observing the steady stream of people passing by their apartment building, Jordan saw an opportunity. She realized that setting up a water stand could not only help people stay cool, but also turn a profit for a worthy cause. Like many kids her age, Jordan harbored a fervent desire to visit Disneyland during the summer. However, her mother expressed reservations about the affordability of such a trip. Undeterred, Jordan saw her new business venture as a means to earn her own way to the magical theme park. With determination and enthusiasm, Jordan and her family sprang into action. They brainstormed ideas together and swiftly embarked on a supply run to gather everything they needed. Setting up the water stand outside their building became a family affair, with Jordan's little brother offering moral support and her mother, Erin, supervising from a distance. Erin refrained from micromanaging her daughter's project, allowing Jordan to take the lead and showcase her independence and initiative. The sight of an eight-year-old entrepreneur taking charge of her own business venture impressed everyone who passed by. Jordan's initiative and resourcefulness shone brightly, illuminating her path toward her dream of visiting Disneyland. As the hours passed, Jordan's water stand exceeded her wildest expectations, drawing a steady stream of pedestrians heading to the nearby San Francisco Giants game. Jordan found herself inundated with customers, her shouts of water, water, yielding a stack of bills in return. However, amidst the bustling activity, an unexpected encounter threatened to disrupt Jordan's success. A stranger approached the water stand, her demeanor strangely hostile, and her focus seemingly elsewhere. With a foam in hand and a scowl on her face, she berated Jordan for being too noisy, claiming to be working across the street and alleging that Jordan was selling water without a permit. Uncertain how to respond, Jordan hesitated but stood her ground, refusing to abandon her endeavor. As the situation escalated, the stranger dialed 911 further exacerbating the tension. Feeling a surge of protectiveness towards her daughter, Erin, Jordan's mother, fought the urge to confront the stranger directly. Instead, she opted to document the encounter, capturing the stranger's outrageous behavior on video. In an attempt to mitigate the backlash, Allison appeared on the Today Show to offer an apology to Jordan and her family. However, her explanation rang hollow when police records later revealed the truth. Allison had indeed called the authorities and had grossly exaggerated the situation. Ultimately, Allison's deception was exposed, undermining her attempt to downplay her actions. The incident served as a stark reminder of the power of holding individuals accountable for their behavior, highlighting the importance of standing up against injustice and defending one's rights. Then, to add another layer of complexity to the situation, troubling details about Allison began to emerge. It turned out that Allison Adel held the position of CEO at a company called Treatwell Health, specializing in pain relief products containing marijuana extract. While the company had garnered some attention, Allison and her team operated within a legal gray area, navigating the complexities of ever-changing U.S. drug laws. What was even more concerning were some of the questionable practices advocated by Allison particularly her support for using marijuana products on dogs, despite the lack of scientific evidence supporting its efficacy. Following the public backlash and scrutiny, Allison resigned from her position and seemingly disappeared from public view. However, the events of that day continued to weigh heavily on Jordan's mind. In an effort to lift her spirits and maintain a positive atmosphere, a group of neighbors rallied around Jordan, coming together to support her. They collaborated to set up a large concession stand, with all proceeds earmarked for Jordan's education fund. As if that wasn't enough, there was one final surprise waiting for Jordan. An anonymous donor generously gifted her tickets to Disneyland. With her summer dream now within reach and her future financial security bolstered, 
Jordan's outlook brightened considerably. Moreover, the entire experience served as a valuable lesson for Jordan, reinforcing the idea that even as a young child, her actions could make a meaningful difference in the lives of others. Jordan's journey also underscored the importance of financial savvy from a young age. In today's rapidly changing world, adaptability and financial literacy are essential traits for success. Jordan was determined not to be left behind, ensuring that she and her family were well-equipped to navigate the challenges ahead.